the um, the, the president of the Kurdish uh, regional government in Washington, D.C. Uh, these days. Secretary Blinken has been in the region several times. Uh, and this is uh, just one more uh, uh, stop, so to speak, in Secretary Blinken's efforts to rally our allies in the region uh, and to make sure they, the, those allies, including uh, Secretary General Barzani, uh, understand what American policy is and uh, how they can be helpful uh, in achieving the goals, which I think are mutual uh, goals. Look, the, um, the, the American government uh, includes uh, the Kurdish uh, regional uh, government as part of what we describe as uh, the uh, 360 uh, uh, approach to our relationship with Iraq. Uh, and we have consulted uh, all along with the Kurdish uh, regional authorities in terms of security, in terms of the, uh, uh, the issues which are confronting not only Iraq, but the whole Middle East. And the, the, uh, uh, the American government has valued highly the input uh, from the Kurdish regional uh, parties uh, uh, in, in that effort to achieve a uh, secure and stable Iraq and a secure and stable <clears throat> Middle East. I, I, I just think it's a, uh, a wonderful demonstration of the importance of the Kurdish regional uh, parties that they are now in Washington, that, uh, that Prime Minister Barzani is in Washington, uh, meeting with Secretary Blinken. Uh, I don't know if you've looked back in your uh, archives, but in uh, 2015, uh, Secretary Barzani met with both President Obama and then Vice President uh, Biden for a, a really important uh, review of the situation because that's just that was just the beginning of the fight against uh, the Islamic State. And of course, we know that uh, the Kurdish region played a, a, an extremely important part in that fight and in the defeat of the uh, Islamic State. So there's no question that the United States and the Kurdish region are allies, but allies within the context, the overall context of security and stability in Iraq. Well, the, the, the Kurdistan regions have provided a lot of support for U.S. military operations in the Middle East, including counterterrorism operations in the Middle East. As a matter of fact, uh, Kurdish parties are some of our most effective and loyal allies in that uh, region. Uh, I don't know the, I'm not a member of the U.S. government, and I don't know the details of our military assistance to the Kurdish uh, region. Uh, Kurdish regional uh, militaries, but I'm sure that it's substantial and that it will continue. The Kurdistan region stands as a uh, uh, as an example of a, uh, uh, a free and relatively democratic or democratic, you can say, entity in the Middle East and an entity that shares our values, shares our uh, common goals, and I think can truly be uh, described as an ally of the United States. I know you in Kurdistan uh, describe yourself as an ally of the United States, and I have no trouble uh, saying that Kurdistan is an ally of the uh, United States. Yes, absolutely. And I think that's one of the reasons why Secretary Blinken has been traveling to our allies and one of the reasons why uh, Prime Minister Barzani is in Washington, because uh, Secretary Blinken uh, wants to and needs to explain exactly what the United States is doing, what are the goals, what are U.S. goals in the region, uh, and how uh, uh, the Kurdistan uh, entities can help us achieve those uh, goals. Well, I'm, I'm not uh, familiar with the exact 
military uh, uh, details, but uh, uh, I'm sure that if the uh, Kurdish region is attacked, the United States will consult and provide whatever um, whatever details, whatever equipment is necessary to assure, uh, as, as we keep saying, a safe and uh, secure uh, Kurdish region. The, the situation in the Kurdish region has been uh, uh, very dynamic. You, you have to agree with me over the last 10, 20 uh, years. And, and the Kurdish, one of the, uh, uh, one of the attributes that stand out is the courage and the steadfastness of the Kurdish regional authorities in uh, uh, in, in helping and in in uh, participating to make the region and especially Iraq uh, safe and uh, and secure. Oh wow, that's good. That's uh, that's really good news. Um, you know, as I say, I'm not a member of the government. I'm not a, a, a privy to any of the uh, policy making decisions. But the 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 American government is is trying very hard to um, uh, to find a way to have a comprehensive uh, situation, a comprehensively stable and secure situation in the Middle East. There are lots of components, as you, uh, as you well know, and, and, and trying to coordinate all those components. I mean, we have to feel uh, some, uh, uh, some admiration for Secretary Blinken as he's trying to go around and, and, and make sure that all these components get treated equally or get, get treated in, in terms of their relative importance. And again, the Kurdistan region is a very important player in, uh, in that. I'm sorry, the same way America is unique? Oh, describe. Yes, um, but this is, uh, this is nothing new, right? I mean, uh, the, the Kurdistan region has been uh, a friend and an ally of the United States for a long uh, time. We have a long history uh, of, of of working together in difficult, very difficult uh, times. Um, I can remember uh, a, a, a visit that uh, both uh, 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 Prime Minister Barzani and Prime Minister uh, Talabani paid to the United States back in the uh, in the early 80s, uh, when uh, the situation in that region was very uh, difficult. Uh, it's a, uh, uh, I think it's just a given the importance of the Kurdish uh, region and the contribution which the Kurdish region can give to uh, achieving overall security and stability in the region. Well, I think the Kurds are doing just fine for themselves. They are, they have maintained the, sec they have maintained their own security and their own uh, stability. Um, I know there are uh, a, a lot of uh, uh, non-governmental organizations working in Kurdistan, uh, and they're providing schools and hospitals and, and other uh, uh, social infrastructure projects. Um, every single uh, non-governmental organization that I've ever uh, talked to uh, really likes working in the Kurdish uh, region. Uh, because the, of course, uh, Kurdish people, Kurdish officials are very cooperative, and and they achieve their goals. They they build their projects and they get them uh, working. Well, I don't see that there's any uh, question that American support for the Kurdistan region, security, and stability of Kurdistan region, would uh, uh, would be affected. Again, it's within the context of our 360 degree view of security and stability in Iraq. Now, don't forget that there are Kurdish communities in Iran, there are Kurdish communities in Turkey, Kurdish communities in Syria, as well as, uh, as Iraq. Um, we know this is a difficult uh, situation. It's been a difficult situation for, for generations for the Kurdish uh, people. 
Um, and I frankly, I, I don't know. I don't have a longer term view. Ah, now you're getting to uh, the, those really difficult uh, issues. Um, you know, we know that the Kurdish uh, people have been frustrated in their uh, attempt to achieve independence. Uh, and uh, uh, that has been a problem uh, for for the entire uh, 20th century, now the 21st century. I don't have a, uh, I don't have a crystal ball. I don't have a, uh, a way of, of telling how the Kurdistan region can achieve their long-term goal of independence. Um, and it's just something that, uh, that the Kurdistan region, the people of the Kurdistan region have to, uh, have to work on. But in the context of an overall agreement and overall peace uh, and security arrangement in the entire Middle East, who knows? Maybe there would be a place for an independent Kurdistan. Uh, <laughs> wow, that's a tough question. Hey, you guys are really uh, thinking now today about this, these difficult issues. Look, the, um, uh, the, the, the Middle East is a problem. And it's, there's no question that it's a problem. It's a problem not only for the United States, it's a problem for <clears throat> the Europeans, it's a problem for Russia, it's a problem for China. Um, and to the extent that those uh, entities can work together with the parties in the Middle East, uh, 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 Kurdistan is respected. I mean, there's no question that the Kurdistan uh, regional governments are respected. And, and have a voice that is heard. So, um, uh, you know, I mean, I wouldn't, if, if I were uh, uh, a, a representative of the Kurdistan uh, region, I, I wouldn't hesitate to raise, just like you're raising, uh, the idea of uh, uh, an independent Kurdistan uh, region. Um, the, 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 maybe this is the time. Uh, there are a lot of people who are saying this is the time for a lot of creative thinking to be uh, going on. And I certainly hope, I'm sure Mr. Barzani raised this issue with us. Uh, you know, uh, I have to understand your, the, the, the thoughts behind your question. The international community uh, uh, has never said yes to Kurdish uh, independence and self-government. Uh, um, uh, I don't know all the ins and outs because I'm not, uh, I wasn't around in the, those days after the First World War and the Second World War when the Kurdish region moved to assert its, uh, its desire for independence and self-determination. So, but anything is possible, and especially in this uh, current situation, um, uh, anything is, uh, is possible, it seems to me, creativity. Uh, on these issues is what we need. I'm, I'm not uh, uh, privy to the uh, discussions between the United States government and the government of Iraq. Uh, these are issues that absolutely need to be uh, settled. And the, the uh, cooperation of the United States government uh, with the uh, Kurdish uh, uh, Regional governments and 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 between the two and and the government of Iraq, certainly a, an agreement can be reached on these uh, on these issues. Diplomacy is, um, it, you know, we sometimes say diplomacy is the art of the possible, and and certainly there are circumstances in which these issues can be uh, dealt with, but they're thorny issues, and they're issues that require good relations among the uh, negotiators and trust among the negotiators. And sometimes that's very hard to uh, establish. Again, I'm not, uh, uh, I I'm not privy to the discussions between the government of Iraq and the government of the United States, but there's always a chance for influence. There's always a chance for diplomatic activity to resolve difficult uh, issues. And uh, uh, that's especially true in circumstances like this where there are multiple parties. I mean, let's face it, the, uh, the Iraqi government 
is not uh, operating uh, completely without outside influence. We know that there's outside influence on the Iraqi government. So uh, uh, that's that's another complicating uh, issue.